it sucks. Let's talk about actually some of the stuff we're seeing at GDC. Yeah. Um, so uh, I talked a little bit yesterday about a few of the games I saw at Paradox Interactive, uh, and there were a few more things uh, that we had to show off for that. Um, one of the things that we have to show off is uh, an interview video, or do we just have do we have the interview or do we have the trailer? Uh, we have the interview with the guy with the game in the background. Okay, with the, the trailer game of interview. Oh wait, do we have a game of dwarves interview or do we have the? Uh, Red Frontier. We have the Red Frontier interview. Okay, well, we'll get to that in a second. Um, we do have a gentleman talking about the dwarves right now. We, uh, let's, we'll, we'll, skip over, we'll skip over the dwarves. Let's get right into um, what about the showdown effect. We do have an interview. All right, let's, let's talk about the showdown okay. effect then. Yeah, because right. we didn't talk about this game at all yesterday. The yeah. showdown effect, right? Yeah, I know. We didn't talk about this game at all, and this, this was one that I actually was really into. It was the first game we saw when we got to Paradox, and uh, it's essentially it's a 2D... A uh, deathmatch game in which you play a stereotypical action star from the 80s or 90s. So they took like kind of the Bruce Willis diehard cop stereotype mm -hmm. and made it one character. You know, you've got like your Terminator characters, you've got your Born Identity, like <laughs> Matt Damon guys, and they all have these like one liners that are like atypical of like their characters, or stereotypical rather, of their characters. And, um, what you do is you you know you're going around you're shooting everybody uh, in this 2D world. Uh, there have definitely been games made like this before, um, but like what what they're doing is they're really upping the ante with the action stuff, action wise. Like so you're doing stuff like jumping out of windows with both guns in front of you, like as you like head towards the pavement and as you're like going and doing all this crazy stuff. If you're shouting one liners at the right moment, <laughs> you get bonus points. <laughs> For, for the actions that you're doing. Um, and yeah, it was pretty cool. We actually saw some crazy-ass battles going on between a lot of characters. Mm -hmm. And um, you, get, you get guns and things like that. You can find things around the level. But once you run out of ammo, that's it. Like, you're out of ammo. And oh. you can, like, but you can like, take the gun and throw it at the dude and stun him and then like, whip out a pistol and finish mm -hmm. him off. Okay. So, you know, it, they're just like little cute things like that. So uh, we actually have a trailer for this, and I think we have an interview as well. Um, so why don't we uh, why don't we just show it off? Why don't we just show the interview? Because I think it'll do a better job of like explaining it. All right. We apologize uh, for those of you getting lag issues. Um, we are doing our best. We will uh, work on the technical stuff and watch this interview in the meantime. <laughs> What's going on, guys? I am here at the Paradox Interactive Showcase here at GDC, and I am with Emil. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine, thanks. Now, um, you are working on a game called The Showdown Effect. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what your game is? Right. Um, so The Showdown Effect is an online multiplayer action game, side-scroller, pretty much like uh, Smash Bros. or like in the spirit of Liero or Soldat. And um, it's set in this 80s, early 90s action movie kind of setting. So the whole thing is kind of about making you, or letting you make awesome moves, dodging bullets and uh, saying cool one-liners, pretty much. Sweet. You like jumping out of windows while stuff explodes behind you, uh, saving women from like terrorists, kidnappers, things like that? Exactly. That's the kind of feel we want to promote. Yeah. Awesome. So, so how does gameplay work? How do, how do you give people that vibe? Well, it's very much about uh, making it easy for you to kind of uh, diving through windows, uh, pulling people with you through the windows, landing on top of them and stuff like that. You know, just a uh, um, few buttons to, to pull off those cool moves. And just the whole setting is kind of made out to be, uh, it's made to feel good just firing a gun. It doesn't matter if you hit someone with it, because when you hit the walls, you kind of, stuff explodes so that's a, like, like it's supposed to feel good just running around and shooting that's basically it like no matter what you do even if you're not like the greatest player you're still gonna feel awesome almost yeah that's the idea yeah, yeah right on so uh you guys are working with different archetypes from different uh genres of action movies like so what are some of the characters we're going to be able to play as in the game well the ones we have right now they are the stolen identity guy and the tired new york cop uh, you're probably going to see uh, a lot more of those types of archetypes and also female ones uh, since we want to, I mean, we want to keep that balance, you know. You know, because action heroes can be boys or girls, you know. We live, we live in an equal, 
egalitarian society, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. I think that's true, right? Yeah. Well, we try to, at least. We try. Some people want to keep us down, but we're not going to let them. We're going to be action heroes and shoot them up with bullets, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, totally. So, um, on top of that, like, how do, you bring a, how, how do you bring across the personalities of these archetypes in the game? Like, beyond just, like, looking like a grizzled cop or a guy with no memory of, like, who he was, like, how, how do you actually, like, bring across their personality? It's mostly in their voices, I'd say, because every character will have their unique voices, taunts, one-liners. So, I mean, uh, the Titan Euro cop, he's going to pull off stuff like, I'm getting too old for crap like this, you know? While the stone identity guy might say, who am I? Who are you? I, mean, I just want my life back! <laughs> right, right. Awesome, man. So, um, your, your, your company uh, is probably most famous for making Magicka, um, which is an extremely popular indie game that everybody should check out, right? Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, what's it like going from a game like that to, to something like this? Because they're, they're, like, in their style and their presentation, they're just, like, worlds apart. Yeah, you know, uh, we've been working with Magica so long now, and it's like it's our first real project. So we feel like we, we kind of just felt like we want to do something completely different. I mean, the heart of Magica, the whole uh, playing together and just uh, experiencing stuff that that's like memorable, that's still there. But I mean, it's it's a totally different setting and it's totally different gameplay. So and for us, it's really refreshing. I mean, as a developer, this. Yeah, just to get a chance to try something new and create something that you've got, like, had in your head. Yeah, yeah, and I'm sure that once we get back to Magicka, this is going to be good for Magicka. I mean, this, us experiencing other things and, and trying new stuff, that's probably going to make us do better next time around. Yeah, level up, man. You get more XP, you level up. That's how it works. Yeah, yeah, it's trickling in all the time. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, uh, the game is looking great. Uh, obviously, you guys are still in the early stages of development, right? But um, when are you looking to launch this? Uh, I think we're going into betas uh, around summer and sometime by the end of the year, I think. Uh, that's, that's what we're aiming at. Awesome. Mac and uh, PC only, right? Mac and PC only. Killer, man. Well, thank you so much for talking with us today. And we will definitely be taking, keeping, or keeping an eye out rather for more of the showdown effect. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and there you go. That is the showdown effect. Pretty cool. Good little, like, interview. Good thank you. interview. Thank you. You couldn't even hear. You're such a. You're not supposed to tell them I couldn't uh, hear it. It was a great interview. I was trying to be supportive. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I'm just an asshole. A very tired asshole. At any rate, uh, I'm gonna scoot up here. Let's get cozy. I want to get intimate with you people. Let's, let's really talk here. Um, you know, that was not the only game I saw of Paradox Interactive. That, that was one of my favorites, though. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I was like, oh, what a... Like, it doesn't take a lot to run it. And just short, little, fun, little death matches. You know, very simple gameplay. Um, I, like, I like those old-school arcade type of things. So uh, it works really well for me. Um, but, yeah, like I said, it's not the only game I saw there. Another game that I saw that fans of League of Legends or Heroes of New Earth were probably going to like a lot uh, is a game called Red Frontier. Uh,